Welcome back to my Richard City channel. In today's class, we are going to be learning how to make different types of neckline. Okay, in this class, we are going to be learning how to cut 10 different types of neckline. This is a requested tutorial, it's a highly requested tutorial, and it's a beginner friendly class. So, I just decided to shoot it for us today. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So for this tutorial, I have already drafted several basic body patterns. You can see I have about 10 here. So I'm going to be learning how to make 10 different types of neckline. So I'm going to be starting with the simple ones, the common ones that we normally use. And the first one I'm going to be working on is the U neckline. U neckline is very simple to make and it's quite popular as well. So now I have my basic bodies already, just like I mentioned. So what you need is your neck width. So for this particular pattern, I have my regular three inches neck width, which is what we normally use. So you can maintain this three inches or you can increase it if you want. So I think I'm just going to work with around three and a half for this. So that's like increasing my natural neckline by half an inch, okay? So now once that neck width is settled, the next is to determine how deep you want this neckline to be. That's your neck depth. So for the neck depth, you are going to start from this starting point again. You can see this is the starting point, and then you take the depth that you want. So for me, I'm just going to be working with a depth of seven to eight inches. It's going to be a little bit deep. Then after noting your neck width and your neck depth, all you just need to do, just like the name imply, you use your curved ruler to form like a U shape. Okay. I'm using my pattern master if you have a better curve you can also use it so what you want to do is to make sure that your curve touches the two points that you're connecting together once they touch you just go ahead and draw out your curve then after drawing your curve you grab your scissors and then you cut out what you have marked it can be lower than this it can be higher than this depending on what you want so once you open it out like this this is the neckline that you have you can see that it is in form of a u shape so you're going to label that the u neckline so the neckline i'm going to work on is the v neckline so for the v neckline just like we did for the earlier one for this neck width i'm going to be working with four inches depending on what you want it's totally up to you and then for the depth i'm going to be working with around seven inches as well so once you have those two points this time now for the earlier one i use the curve side of my ruler so this is a v-shape you can either use this straight part you can see this is very straight or you use this slightly curved part if you want the v to be a little bit curved so you can see i'm going to try the two so that we can see so now using this very straight part i'm just going to connect these two lines together i can see that what i have is very sharp is a sharp v so if you want it a little bit slanted you can see this slightly curved side of your ruler you just place it and connect the two lines and this is what you will have so you can see that i still maintain my v shape but in the case of this slightly curved part you can see it just gives me this little coffee effect so after connecting like that you grab your scissors again and cut out what you have so for this now after cutting it out and then i open it you can see what i have it is not as curved as the u neckline that we have earlier you can see the difference that we have in these two necklines so this neckline now i'm going to label it the v neckline so the next one we're working on is the square neckline okay this is quite popular as well it's really used for english dresses so what you just need to do is to determine the width that you want for your neckline as well so for this i'm going to be working with around three and a half inches as well or 3.75 basically what you want and then after that you're going to determine the depth so for this depth again let's just work with the seven or seven and a half inches that we're working with so in this case on this line where you have your depth the same neck width that i took here which was 3.75 i'm going to go ahead and take the same neckline on that depth mark again so that i can have something uniform so now as against the two lines that we are having earlier now we have one two three points to match together so i'm going to start by matching from here which is the depth and then from the depth i'll go ahead and connect to the neckline and then my neckline is ready so now what i will do is to grab my scissors again and go ahead and cut out what i have here 
so it is very very simple to me so this is the square neckline and when you open it up you can see that it is in form of a square so i'm going to label this square neckline so those are like the basic type of necklines that we have so to form your new necklines you can also combine these two type of necklines together the next one we're going to be working is, is on working on is a combination of both u and v neckline so this type of neckline is usually seen on kaftan dresses okay kaftan shift dresses that's what you normally see on them it's a combination of u and v so for this neckline as well you determine your neckline the your neckline width so for this i'm working with a neckline width of four inches so after determining the neckline width you determine the total depth that you want for both the u and v so for this i'm going to be stopping it at eight inches so here you also determine where you want your u to stop so for this particular one you can divide what you have here into two or you can just work with whatever you want so for me i think i'm going to be stopping the u at around four inches or four and a half inches thereabouts so on that point here i'm just going to come in what here by one inch or half an inch depending on how wide you want the v to be so you can see the points that we have so the first mark i'm going to be making is from this external that i have external mark that i have i'm going to be connecting from here to my neck width to form my u neckline first you can see the type of the side of the ruler that i'm using you can see it's the same side that we use in connecting for the v neckline so after connecting for the v the next thing is to connect for my u you can see now that i am using a straight ruler a ruler that is more straight or you can use this slightly curved side to connect for the v so you have it like this you can see that it's a combination of both the u and the v neckline so after having that now i'm going to grab my scissors and then i'll cut the v part and then from there i'll go ahead and cut the u as well so now once you open this house this is what it looks like you can see that it is both a combination of u and v neckline so i'm just going to label this u and v neckline okay so the next one i'm just going to call it the sweet ass neckline so in the case of sweet ass neckline it can be in form of the one that is going to have a shoulder just like we have here and it's also come in form of an off shoulder we are also going to be treating that in this class so for this particular one what you need next is your neck width as well and then you're going to mark the total depth that you want for this neckline i'm working with eight inches okay so after marking the total depth it's going to be like a combination of square and then the other type of neckline so here i'm going to mark where the square is going to stop so it's totally up to you so i think i'm going to stop it at around five inches and then on that five inches the neck width that i used i'm going to make sure that i have it there as well so that i will have something straight okay so once i connect like that what i'm going to do now is to connect like this okay in form of a sweetheart neckline using this curve side of my ruler just like this okay so that is all you need to do and then you're going to grab your scissors and cut it out this neckline is very similar to the queen hand neckline we are going to see the difference between the two now we're going to treat the queen hand neckline next so you can see you can see what we have here so this i'm going to label the sweet heart neckline with shoulder so for the queen hands neckline the neck width is not going to be so wide so for the neck width i'm just going to work with around three inches okay so i'm going to mark my three inches neck width here and then just like we did for the sweet heart neckline you're going to mark the total depth that you want so let's say we're working with a total depth of eight inches as well and then so for the first neckline where i'm going to step is before i draw the sweet heart i'm going to stop it at around five inches to six inches so here now remember for the sweet heart neckline we measured what we have here on this point as well so for this queen hands neckline remember i have three inches here on this mark i'm going to mark on this point i'm going to mark about four or four and a half inches you're just going to increase the width that you use here so you can make it four inches or four and a half inches just like i am doing so i'm just going to mark around four inches thereabouts and i'll have that here so now to connect i'm going to connect from the neckline to this point so you can see now that it is not straight it's in form of a like a slanted line 
you can see what we have so after connecting that part now you're going to go ahead and take the curved side of your ruler and then connect to the depth so you can see what we have you can see that it's quite different from the one we have earlier so now i'm going to grab my scissors i'll cut this curved area first and then i'm going to go ahead and cut the slanted part so now once you open this curve you can see the shape that we have like it's slanted before you have your curve and then just like that so this is the point hands neckline okay so the next one i'm going to work on is going to be like the up shoulder sweet hands neckline you can also call it a strapless neckline so for this neckline the we're going to be reducing this full shoulder remember this is a full shoulder i'm going to be making it to be like an half shoulder so it's quite simple what i'm going to do now is to first determine the depth that i want for this neckline so for the depth i'm going to make it a little bit low so i'll make it it can have it can be high it can be low depending on what you want so after connecting where i want my depth to be i'll come to the sh to the handhold area here and then you determine how half you want it to be so the trick is for you to just measure what you have there you can divide it into two i have about 10 and dividing into two is going to give me like five so if this is too off for you, you can go higher and make it five and a half or five inches so from there now what you're going to do is to take your the slightly curved side of your ruler again and then you connect your two points together just like this you can see that it's in form of the sweetheart neckline that we treated earlier but in this case now we are cutting off all this upper part which makes it an off shoulder so this upper part that you cut off you can decide to use this part as a yoke so now cutting it off now and opening it out you can see what we have it's a strapless neckline and then it has a sweet heart strapless sweet heart neckline so you can see the difference from this one and the one that has the shoulder so the next one we're working on is the scallop neckline so for this you're going to determine the depth the width that you're working with i'm marking four inches and then for the total depth i'm marking eight inches so on this eight inches as well i'm going to mark the four inches again so that i can have a straight line something equal before i start drawing out the pattern for my scallop so to make this easier for you depending on how many scallop you want to have so i'll just mark like two two inches interval for mine so here i have two inches i have four i have six and then i have eight so to have something straight this is just like a guide to make it simple you don't have to draw all this mark so i'm going to make this into a straight line and then these are going to be my guide so after making the partitions now to make the first one here from the center area i'm going to mark around one inch you can mark 0.75 as well depending on how coffee you want it to be so on the next one i'm going to go ahead and mark two inches these are just guide it doesn't have to be this particular measurement and then here i'm marking three inches so you can see the points that i have so the next thing is to grab your curve driller and then you start marking this designs that you have so from here now i'm going to mark to the depth in front of a curve just like this so you can get something a little bit more coffee if you really want it to to come out really nice okay you can see i have shifted my ruler so that i can have something more coffee so from there now i'll move and join these next two points so i'm connecting them together as well then from there again i'm going to go ahead and connect this next point like this so from there the last one now i'll take my curve ruler now and connect this to my neck depth so it can be as much as you want remember we just partitioned this into four it can be more than this or less and then your curve can also be deeper than this you just need to have a, a very nice cuff to give you what you want so if i place my cuff like this you can see that it's going to give me even something nicer so now after this now i'm going to go ahead and grab my scissors and then i'll go ahead and start cutting out the scallops and then i'm going to cut the last one so once you cut it out now and then you open it up you can see what you have there 
so what you just need to do is to just get a really nice curve and then make it as deep as you want so if you want this to be deeper as well you can put it on fold again and then i'm just going to try to make this deeper so that we will see the scallops more so you can see now that i am going inwards with my curve and the next one i'm going to go inwards again and like this so if we cut this half now you will notice that now we even have something deeper than what we have earlier so from here now i'm going to go inwards again and then i'm going to do the same thing to the last one so if you open this up you will see that it's giving you an entirely different shape so it's totally up to you and the shape that you're willing to go for so i will just label this the scallop neckline so we have done like eight necklines now so the next one i'm working on is the asymmetric or one shoulder neckline so for this neckline i'm going to open it up like this so that i can have my both sides okay your fabric has to be on fold so for this particular one it's going to have one shoulder okay one of the bodies is going to have a shoulder and the other one is going to be an half shoulder so to do this now you choose the side that you want to have the shoulder i'm choosing this side and then i'm going to mark the neck width that i want for the two so for me i'm working with three and a half inches so i'm marking three and a half inches to the right and three and a half inches to the left okay so after marking that now you're going to come to the center this is the center i can see the crease line then you're going to determine the depth that you want for your center how deep you want the center to be usually is not usually so deep so i'm just going to leave it at four inches and then you come to the side where you want it to be half you determine how half you want that side to be as well like i said you can just mark what you have here and divide it into two or you can just follow whatever it is that you want so now i'm choosing these five inches to be the depth that i want on the handful so what you just need to do is to connect from this part that has a shoulder you connect to your neckline and then from your neckline you connect to the part that is an curved shoulder using the curved side of your ruler so if you have a ruler that can take a lot at once you can use that and if not all you just need to do is to work with it in bits but make sure that whatever you're connecting is smooth enough it's as smooth as possible you don't want any part to be pointed so after connecting now you grab your scissors and then you go ahead and cut this out so you can see what we have it's an asymmetric neckline also called the one shoulder neckline okay so now we're going to move to the last type of neckline and this is going to be the wrap neckline okay so for the wrap neckline again to, to cut it out i'm going to leave my patterns open like this and then you determine how much you want it to wrap okay it can wrap completely on your body it can wrap on completely on your body like this or it can wrap to maybe where the dark line is it's totally up to you and where you want this to stop so for this one i'm going to make it wrap completely to my, on my body so what i'm going to do now on the side that i'm going to connect it to on the waist area i'm going to come up by two to three inches depending on how much you want it to be and then you're going to mark it there so here again you come to your center point on your center point to mark the neck depth that you want so usually between six to eight inches is fine so i'm going to leave mine at seven inches and then you come to the one with the shoulder and then you mark your neck width so for this i'm going to be working with the neck width of three and a half inches as well so what you are connecting is your neck point to your neck depth at the center point here and then you connect it to where your wrap is going to be so again with my curved roller I'm going to connect like this and then from here now I'll go ahead and connect to the side I hope you can see it okay I'll go ahead and connect to the side just like that I'm just finding a really nice curve and then I'm going to connect them together so if you have any part sharp you just try to blend it in 
okay as much as possible and then i'm going to grab my scissors and cut it out so for this neckline you have to cut two because they are going to overlap on each other okay so this is what it looks like by the time we cut it out so this is a wrap neckline and then you're going to cut two of it to make one bodies okay so there are several other necklines as well but i'm going to stop this particular one here so if you like to see other type of neckline as well let me know in the comment section so that we can make another video covering different type of neckline that we have besides the ones that we have treated here and if you enjoy making this beautiful tutorial with me then do the check out in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye